So I'm at the Queensland Air Museum in Caloundra and here's an aircraft for Conair people, particularly the engineering, this particular one. This is an aircraft that I purchased. Three of them, Bob Bobel and I went to Fiji and bought three time-expired Gypsy Queen 30 Herons and for $50,000 Australian. And uh, this is KAM. And uh, it was re-inspired, re-engined by Conair and sold to Kendall Airlines. I saw it down here at Calandra Airport looking pretty disused. So I saw KAM and immediately knew the history of the aircraft. So here's a little bit of history about the Heron, prototype 1950. This particular aircraft, KAM, was uh, flown in Spain, then the UK, and then Fiji, and then Alice Springs, where we re engined it, and then the Premier in Wagga, Navy Air Services, uh, East Coast Airlines who leased it to uh, Tonga uh, and then to Airlines in Tasmania and then leased it to Vincent Airlines in New Zealand and uh, its last log entry was November 1994, 29,999 hours and 7 minutes of course, 30,000 hours it needed to be re if that could be done again I'm not sure anyway in February 1998 uh, it was recovered from Tasmania by the Queensland Museum This little clip's about the Heron. This is a square engine metro, which of course was Bush Pilot Airways one, but this is the aircraft that East West in their wisdom decided to use instead of yeah, something else up on the top end, and uh, what a disaster. East West lost five million in 12 months in their purchase of Conair, and it so weakened them that they then became taken over by Brian Gray, I think it was, if my memory serves me correctly. Sad, sad story. Again, I had to do with the heron, but I just love this aircraft. Spitfire and on display permanently at the Queensland Air Museum. You can see some of their other aircraft. What a great place.